You know, sometimes it felt like we'd be stuck with UFC 4 for the next four years. The game released back in 2020, and it seems like there's been radio silence on the part of the developers when it came to the next game. With each passing month and each two-person roster update, the game seemed to get more out of date and boring as we went on and on with no news of what might be coming next. That's why I'm so happy to say that we finally have an inkling of news about the next EA UFC game. When I say an inkling though, I really do mean an inkling. All we got was a 15 second video and a promise of a full reveal in September, along with a link to a newsletter to keep up to date with the news. That being said, such little information gives us plenty of room to speculate about where this franchise should be headed. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Before I do that though, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, 1v1me. 1v1me is the best platform to stake on esports with. With over 50 events a week that have the best players on UFC 4, NBA 2K, Madden, and FIFA, and matches that run all day so that you always have something to stake on, 1v1me has paid out over $10 million and has a 4.8 star rating on the App Store with thousands of reviews. All you have to do is find 1v1me on the App Store or online at 1v1me.com, find a match you'd like to stake on, place your stake, and see if the player you stake on wins. And if you use code ZIAF when you sign up, you will get $10 added to your first stake. Must be 18 or older to stick on matches. Thank you so much to 1v1me for supporting the channel. With that being said, let's get on to the video. I want to address some of the major criticisms I've seen levied at the previous games, as well as what I think about where the games are and should be headed. That being said, everything here is simply coming from a place of me wanting the game to be better. Anybody who knows me knows that I am a huge fan of these games and truly want to see them at their best. And I think that every subsequent game has taken at least some steps in the right direction, so let's talk about where I think the franchise needs to go. Do you guys remember those early UFC 4 career mode trailers? It seems like a distant cry now, but those trailers promise something absolutely revolutionary. And honestly, I don't think that the career mode we got lived up to those promises. Career mode was maybe the biggest disappointment for me with this game, because what we saw and the ideas we were told about had so much promise, and then it all seemed to go down the drain. That being said, I think that the concepts we were told about had a lot of potential that can and should really be expanded upon in the next game. I definitely think that career mode is going to be sticking around for the foreseeable future. Information we've gotten from the developers tells us that it's by far the most played game mode in the game, and it's what they put the most time and money into each game. So with that in mind, I think it's reasonable to expect that we see a pretty big renovation of the game mode as we saw from UFC 3-4. What I would really like to see with this is a true story mode like we got in Fight Night Champion and just a lot of quality of life updates. I think one of the biggest problems I had with career mode in 4 was just how long and grindy it was for no apparent reason. I think a lot of the training can be streamlined to allow the player to truly flesh out their own playstyle and character while having fun doing it. I actually have pretty decent hopes for the next iteration of career mode wherever EA goes with it and I don't have many predictions for what's going to happen. I just hope it's high quality and enjoyable. This is possibly the biggest question mark for me. The cosmetic aspects of UFC 4 seems to have been one of their most profitable decisions to add into the game, but most divisive among the fans. Personally, I'm not a fan, but I see where they're coming from. And to be honest, my stance on the subject has changed over the last couple of years. At first, I was as outraged as many of the hardcore fans, ranting passionately on Twitter about how awful all of the cosmetics were and crying for EA to change them all. However, my opinion as it stands is that if these cosmetics happen to attract more casual players to the game, they do much more good than harm. Would I like to not have to look at and deal with them? Sure. But I think that if EA approaches them a smarter way this time around, then they can certainly work. My biggest hope is that the feedback EA received about rank truly makes them take a closer look at it. I really do not want casts in ranked in any way, shape, or form. My biggest prediction for the cosmetic aspect of the game is that EA is going to double down on the more zany and modern aesthetic as an overall feel for the game, and keep the cosmetics as they are while trying to add some new MMA-based things that the more hardcore fans requested, like geese and whatnot. I think it's unreasonable to expect that something so successful for the company in UFC 4 will be removed for the next game. Let's be honest, folks, there isn't going to be much change in the striking of the series. They will certainly add a couple of things here and there, but while they've been slowly iterating on this aspect of the game, it seems like this is the part of the game that the most players are happy with and understand the most. EA doesn't fix things that aren't broken, and this simply doesn't need to be fixed. That said, there are a couple of things that I am crossing my fingers to end up being changed for UFC 5. First is the tracking. 
We all know that the tracking can be really rough at times with all of these games, and my hope is that they really nail it down for the next generation of consoles. The next thing that I hope they change for the striking is making each character feel unique. This is something that has been sorely lacking in the previous UFC games and has an underrated aspect for adding longevity to the game. When each character has their own strengths and weaknesses and doesn't feel like cookie cutter or copy and paste of each other, it will be much harder to get bored of the game because of the endless variety of options that is allowed through the mashups of fighters. There will, of course, be meta fighters and fighters that are clearly superior to others, but I hope that we can get many more unique characters that bring their own style to the game. My best guess as far as what EA will do is that they are going to iterate small amounts onto the striking and really polish it up, but not change much. As I said, there is no reason to fix something that isn't broken. I'm predicting that it's going to feel mostly the same as UFC 4, but slightly updated and iterated upon, and hopefully, better. If cosmetics was the most divisive thing about the game, then the clinching was probably what everybody universally agreed needed some major changes in the next game. Personally, I think that the mechanics of the clinch are good in concept and in fundamentals, but for UFC 4, it's simply so bare-bones that it's hardly useful. My major wishes for the clinch are simply more. We need more of everything in the clinch. More positions, more striking, more submissions, more movement, just more. The fact that the clinch is barely utilized and seemingly incredibly unbalanced just tells me that it's undercooked. The development team obviously had a big vision for what they wanted to make the clinch in UFC 4, and my hope is that they get to see that out to its natural conclusion for the next game. I think that this will be one of the major selling points of the next game, and so I think they'll put a lot of effort into working on it and balancing it out. The final aspect of the fighting in this fighting game is the grappling, which to be frank, EA never seems to have gotten a full handle on. Each game has tried something slightly different, and nothing seems to have quite worked. And to be honest, I really don't know where this series is going to go from here. It's clear that something needs major changing, but I can't figure out how that needs to be approached. My biggest request is less of a mechanical one and more of a practical one. Whatever is done to the grappling, it needs to be done to make the system less of a minigame and more of a fluid one, much like the striking. Compared to how dynamic and resourceful the striking systems in the franchise have been, the grappling has always felt so slow and boring, which is not how it should be. The grappling system needs to be fast, fluid, and fun. Have us moving from position to position, constantly attempting positions, rolling and flipping each other. I think that this will be the other major selling point for EA UFC 5, because they know how many people have been unhappy with these systems in the past, and so they are really going to work to flesh this one out. Those are the major aspects of UFC 4 that I think are likely to be changed, but I have a bunch of smaller stuff that I want to see change that I figured I'd throw into a more freeform segment of this video as more of a wish list than a prediction of changes. Please, EA, can we get doctor stoppages? They definitely shouldn't be RNG-based, because that would be incredibly terrible competition-wise. But even if they're just another TKO animation, that would be great. Speaking of TKOs, where the hell are my leg TKOs? I've always maintained that a player should only be able to suffer three knockdowns to the leg before the referee steps in. No real referee would watch a fighter get knocked down three times by leg kicks and let them continue fighting. Let's get a real updated roster this time that is constantly being kept on top of. The games have a real dating problem, where they just become outdated really quick because the roster is never up to date. That'd be really nice to see in the next game. Some support for the competitive scene from EA or the UFC would be great. The competitive scene really peaked with the ESFL Live in Las Vegas event, and I think it could grow to even greater heights with the proper backing from EA. In terms of graphical fidelity, I don't think much needs to be changed. To be honest, these games have never looked great, but they've always looked passably fine. And I think that there are more important things to focus on, like what I've mentioned in the rest of this video. It's going to be almost impossible to really know what the plans are for the game until the announcement in September. So all we can really do at the moment is hope that EA makes some really good decisions. And I know that they haven't always done that, but I trust in the Game Changer program and the passion of the developers. My biggest hope is that the time taken off over three years in between games will have a real effect. We all know that a lot of EA games tend to release in a really bad and buggy state, and I pray that won't be the case for UFC 5. Overall, I have some real high hopes, and I'm hoping that they can be met or even possibly exceeded. What do you all think, and what do you all want to see? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you all soon.